This is the Still HSA 56 cordless hedge trimmer with the AK10 battery. So when you unbox this hedge trimmer, it comes with a protective sheath. We're just going to remove that now. It's simply a case of holding the hedge trimmer in place and gently pulling up on the protective sheath there. You can see the exposed blades. This has actually got a three-point safety system on it, so uh, the handle um, has a switch here that needs to be switched from the locked position down here to the unlocked position here. So the three points of contact that need to be uh, actually operated to um, activate the blades there. The lever here needs to be depressed on the handle and also the carrying loop here has a lever that needs to be depressed and then of course the trigger as well underneath is then um, operated to actuate the blades there. So I've got a sample here on the hedge, I've just trimmed the lower part of the hedge here and you can see nice and neat, really really easy to trim with this really really smooth operation the weight is quite comfortable I've only just started the, uh, the hedge trimming here so I'll give you an update when I need to perhaps swap the battery to the second battery or how long the first battery lasts so far so good Let's have a look at how we're getting on. So uh, this is about uh, 45, 50 minutes into the cutting. Uh, really nice, smooth, clean lines. It's quite lightweight. Uh, it's not too bad. Got a nice uh, level, clean, even line down there. Across the top of the hedge. Okay, so I've got an update for you. I'm about 45-50 um, minutes into hedge cutting. i um, going to have a look at the battery now, see how we're getting on. Okay, so we've got one bar left on the battery there. That's fully charged battery to start with. So uh, probably about 45-50 minutes of um, almost continuous hedge cutting and we're down to one bar. So we're about an hour in the battery's died, it's time to swap over to the second battery. Just press this button here, battery pops up, you can just slide out that battery and connect the new one. Fully charged battery, so you just need to line it up, drop that in. It's actually got um, a two-stage process, so if you press it once, you hear that click in. It's not actually touching the contacts of the battery at the moment, so it just locks it in position. Um, but it's safe to store like that, and it's also um, safe to carry around. And then when you actually want to come to use it, you press it in again for a second time. And that connects the contacts of the battery to the hedge trimmer, and you're ready then to actually use it. I've just finished trimming the front garden, so I'm on the second battery with about three bars remaining. It's been uh, probably about an hour and 20 minutes, so I would definitely recommend getting two batteries with this if you're going with the AK-10 battery. Um, you're going to get around about uh, 50 minutes or so, maybe an hour per battery. Uh, generally, it's been very good. I would say the uh, 45 centimeter bar length is, is adequate with a 16 millimeter um, cutting width. 
I was trimming mainly ivy and some shrubbery and it's been quite lightweight. My thoughts on the still HSA 56 cordless hedge trimmer, very good, I've enjoyed using it. I would definitely recommend getting two batteries if you've got a medium sized garden. Thanks for watching.